Jeffrey Paul Ross for NextLevelGuitar.com. Continuing with our Inspired By series, uh, today we're going to work on a little, it's a rock and roll lick, but it's based in the blues, uh, popular uh, in the mid-50s with various rockabilly performers. Uh, we're going to be in the key of E, and this is all off the E chord, the one chord. All right, so I'd like to talk a little bit about the sound that I'm getting for this particular piece. Uh, this is a very popular sound in the 50s. Uh, certain guitar players from Memphis <laughs> uh, utilized this sound. Usually they had a big box guitar, Gibson, you know, with uh, P90s. But I'm using a, a Gibson Les Paul with humbuckings, and it sounds great. Uh, and I've got the back pickup on for the bite. Uh, and, and if you hear that... That slap echo, I'm using a little MXR uh, delay pedal, and that was a big tool in the 50s. Uh, they used uh, tape echo, like an echo, old Echoplex or something like that. Um, <clears throat> you listen to a lot of rockabilly records, and they had slapback echo on almost everything, and a lot of it on the voice. But in fact, there is a parody of an Elvis tune by Stan Freeberg, where he's, <laughs> he's mimicking Elvis in the studio and he's requesting more echo on his voice. And it's, it, check that out. Uh, but yeah, that's, see that's, here I'm gonna hit the, the strings. See, no slap back. You just get one, one percussive whack. Now, See here. Now, if you notice at the beginning here, I was playing with I was I was doing like eighth notes with my thumb. But you don't have to do that. In fact, we'll leave that out of the lesson. Uh, if you want to pursue that later, it's just just got to get that feel going and we're gonna start on this G note with our first finger on the third string and then we're gonna go to open E then uh, same thing on the B string right below it so but we're gonna do that one twice and then we're gonna slide up from that third fret on the B string up to the to the fifth fret. So, so then after we slide up, come back down for one note, and then with our second finger, uh, go down to the G string on the fourth fret. And as soon as you hit that note, just yank it down to the second fret like that and then open G then you hit that E note on the second fret on the D string with your second finger and you can do that I'm thinking of that as a C7 chord. Uh, the A string is muted. And you got that note? And what I'm doing, I'm hitting that note, and then I'm hitting the chord twice. And then I drop it down a half step. the same thing hit the note so uh, hit the note then hit the chord twice 
And as you see, I've got my little finger free, and it's just kind of hovering over this, this low G note there on the on the low E string. So, so boom, chaka, boom, boom, boom. So I'll do the whole thing slow. Jeffrey Paul Ross for nextlevelguitar.com uh, reminding you that we have over a thousand different types of examples of guitar lessons starting with beginners uh, then intermediate and on up through advanced so we'll see you next time okay.